And if we turn our attention to Event 25, the women's 1500 metre sea race. Does anyone want to intro this or you want me to? Oh, I'll give it a crack lock. Okay, so in lane one from Williamstown, Esther Horton. In lane two from Maccabee, Tess Berger. In lane three, Collingwood, Amber Lowe. Jessica Ng from Doncaster. Ruby Crisp, Ringwood. Monique Goldsworthy, Williamstown. Lauren Connell, Athletics Essendon. Lily Gilbert, Wendery. Sasha Bennett. Old Zavarians, Ella Fisher, Frankston, Olivia Weston, Knox, Sophie McMinnie, brother of Ethan from the previous race, Western Athletics, Juliet McBurney from Glen Huntley, Julia McLaren from Athletics Essendon, Brianna Bunworth, Western Athletics, Shannon McDade, Ringwood, and Georgina Mees from Ballarat YCW to round out the field of 17 in this women's sea race. Uh, it looks like Monique Goldworth, the uh, Williamstown athletes, taken up the early running. Actually, I believe that's Esther Horton from, oh, uh, from Williamstown in the lead. Oh. Monique, not too far behind, though, in fourth place. No, I didn't see that. We do have Jessica from Doncaster in second position there, just... Sitting behind Esther. Probably Monique. not getting too much of a wind break there with the size difference. No, she's a little bit taller. <laughs> so Monique Goldsworthy, though, from Williamstown does come in with the fastest seed time in this event at 4 minutes 53. So we do see these top three athletes making a bit of a gap on the rest of the competitors there as they come into the front straight with two laps to go. Esther staying out in front. We've got our... So it is Esther Horton coming in the 700 metre mark with Sophie McMinimi on her shoulder. May even take to the lead. It's not the smartest of tactics running too far wide on the bend. Jessica Ng just sitting behind the two of them. Once again, probably not much of an in break, wind break in the toll figure that she is. But biding her time, just waiting and letting the other girls do the work as they pass through 800 metres in 2 minutes 37. So right on that 4.52 pace, which will earn a few PBs for this race. Yeah, quite a few girls entered here right on that 5 minute uh, entry time. So that'd be a pretty big one for these girls to break. Uh, another big milestone. Certainly remember the first time I broke five minutes for the 1500. Yeah, as do I. It's, a, um, it's probably the biggest one in athletics, I reckon. That five minute 1500 is quite an achievement. Yeah, so hopefully some of these girls can get under that tonight. So We've got a really big lead opening up here. Yeah, Sophie doing a lot of hard work up the field. But we just saw her brother had a great run. I'm sure that was uh, pretty inspiring for her. Training partners, I guess, must run in the family as well a bit. Yeah, certainly looks like it. So Sophie will get the bell. 3.34. So got a bit under a minute 20 to run that last lap in to earn herself a PB, which is looking likely. Her stride is looking pretty nice. Legs turning over pretty quickly with Jessica Ng in uh, second place from the Doncaster Centre. But Sophie looks like she's growing that gap down the back straight. Definitely looking pretty strong rolling those legs over. Yeah, that is amazing. Probably the quickest leg turnover out of the field there by the looks of it. That probably explains why she's got that big gap. <laughs> So about 150 metres to go, we see Sophie McMinnery. Unless anything unusual happens, she will take the win. She probably needs to watch out for those seagulls, but that's probably the only hazard between her and the fish line. That's, that would be unusual. <laughs> so it looks like she'll run as PB too. Her PB or season best is five minutes, which she will absolutely shatter. So Jessica Ng from 
Doncaster in second place as McMinimi crosses the line in a 4.51 to earn herself a season's best. We didn't have Olivia Weston from Knox Athletics Club in third position.